Now, a WISC-TV editorial with editorial director Neil Heinen. While perfectly logical, the news was nonetheless stunning. Underreported and underdiagnosed, perhaps 60% of survivors of domestic violence suffer serious brain trauma. For all the focus on concussions and brain injuries as a result of collisions on athletic fields or war-related injuries or trauma, it turns out many brain injuries in women and a few men are the result of domestic abuse. We don't need any more motivation to commit to ending domestic abuse. It's a societal embarrassment as it is that we do so little. But it does seem important now to focus on diagnosis and care that traumatic injuries be detected and treated before symptoms appear in some cases and before further degeneration or in the worst outcomes, suicide. That means screening in emergency rooms and insurance coverage and acknowledging the very reasonable question, what took so long?